percentage stock analysis. Okay, we're gonna start the numbers. It's been a, I think these are retail. Six dollars, five dollars in range to forty dollars. That is a big thing. So it's a market cap of five hundred fifty-two million. So it's not that big. Man, people are all over this stock a year ago. This is serious. I'm not liking. For first of all, do I see no rent, negative numbers. Cash and net change in ca cash is up. Cash in hand is down. Revenues are all down. Ooh. Last numbers, quarterly numbers look bad. I'm going to go to the limits. I don't like to stock any like quarter one. Negative numbers. Of course, it's been coronavirus, but this is like... Most of quarter one was before coronavirus. Coronavirus started early March. I'm already going to say I don't like this year. Professor is like, isn't that retail or something? Shortage Growth Properties has had a tough tour in 2020. But the CEO and the CFO left the company recently. They say the longer term picture will look back at what the company has spent over the years. We have not had a positive outlook on Shortage Growth Properties. What we saw in intrinsically was a Class B developer being given the benefit of the doubt. Thanks to backing by a rather well being no name. We had covered a stock and falling precipitously. Our thinking then was that the SRG was on customer default. Typically we said Shirtage was always a hope and a press stock as it had a long list. The things to come was for a self sustaining model. The current cash burn is absolutely epic and burst share my face a the thought of surgeries cannot manage to fund the capex and the ongoing expenses. <clears throat> I must always separate the longer term trend. Okay, surgeries total revenue slip there. And this is really, because this is a good article. This shows the problem. Total revenue slipped once again. We're about $14 million lower than what we saw in quarterly three, 2019. <clears throat> There are two points we want to stress here, and this is the number. She's got it backed up because this is a scholarly article. First thing we want to say is that the revenue number has not been impacted by deferral. Second point is that revenues are almost half the where they were in the quarterly one. 2016. SRG went public in the middle of 2015. Some of this was predictable as SRG was dealing with Sears leases. Dude, first of all, Sears. Who the hell was investing in Sears? At the same time, do keep in mind that SRG spent over 1.1 billion in capital expenditures over the last four years. Blah 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 blah. Let's get down there. So this is that they can earn 12% on capital expenditures. That would translate into over 130 million dollars in net operating income. However, 1.1 billion dollars of capex. REIT is tend to have NOI margins of about 70%, so the capex should have resulted in an annual avenue increase. It's the increase of the revenues have dropped. So mall in terms of this is not gonna be good. If I'm gonna do a mall, I'm doing something proper. You got Concord Mills. Don't think about it. I was in Concord Mills. And I saw this girl and her brother. But that's on another point. But aside from that, I don't like this. I don't like this stock at all. Number one, it's got Sears on it. What the heck? Oh my God. Brace your heart. Yeah. Answer that person if that guy is lead charge middle. But anyways, back to Sears. Um. Seritage. Seritage. I still like Seritage. 